The end of life is coming sooner than scientists thought. Explore these topics and more on Surveying the Cosmos. In a new study called The Future Lifespan of Earth's Oxygenated Atmosphere, scientists from Toho University and NASA used advanced supercomputers to simulate the future of Earth. Based on the new simulations and over 400,000 computer models, life on Earth will cease a lot sooner than previously thought. Huh? As the sun gets older, it will emit more heat and radiation, making profound changes on the planets of the solar system, including Earth. Life will be unbearable as our planet will be scorched and transformed into a lifeless rock. Oceans will evaporate, oxygen will vanish, and even the hardiest of microorganisms will be incapable of surviving. Along with human-driven climate change, record-breaking global temperatures, and melting ice caps, these findings paint the future of the planet to a very distant, bleak demise. This study moves the more previous estimate of the end of life on Earth from 2 billion years to 1 billion. Hopefully, future generations of humanity have taken to space to thrive on other habitable worlds in our galaxy. In this episode, Did You Know segment, there are 417 known moons in our solar system. Our moon is the fifth largest. The title for the largest moon goes to Ganymede in a tidally locked orbit around Jupiter. Ganymede is 50% larger than the Earth's moon and zooms around Jupiter in seven days and three hours. It has a rare magnetosphere and a hidden salty ocean below the crust of the surface. It's only been visited by Pioneer 10, 11, Voyager 1 and 2. The Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer was launched on April 14th in 2023 and will enter orbit around Ganymede in December of 2034. This spacecraft will perform detailed investigation on Ganymede and evaluate its potential to support life. This Explorer is the first interplanetary spacecraft to the outer solar system that was not launched by the United States. This episode's image of the Deerlick Group, a visual grouping of galaxies, features different types of galaxies, including lenticular galaxy, a barred spiral galaxy, and elliptical galaxies. The smaller galaxies are called fleas in this image that I took. This visual pairing of galaxies are found in the constellation of Pegasus, another fascinating sight to see in our night sky. Thanks to all my new subscribers for joining me here at Surveying the Cosmos. Until next time, clear skies.